This video is a demonstration of the power management features of the Mentor Graphics Nucleus Embedded RTOS on a Freescale I.MX28 evaluation board. The first feature is that of idle management. When Nucleus detects there are no tasks scheduled to execute, the idle loop will engage tick suppression, slowing the timer interrupt rate and halting instruction execution in the processor until an interrupt arrives. On this platform, Turning this feature on reduces power consumption by 30 milliamps. A significant power savings in any battery driven application. The major advantage of this feature is that it's completely transparent to the application as there is no startup latency when the processor is required to perform a task. Attempting to implement this feature in a bare metal code loop wouldn't be an acceptable solution. The next feature in this demonstration is the control of peripheral power consumption through system state options. Nucleus allows the application to create multiple system states which are assigned different peripheral usage profiles. This particular profile shows four states. The higher three states control the, display, the brightness of the display while the lowest state shuts down all modules with the exception of the touch screen. While the display is off, the touch screen sensor is running and the application will respond to a touch on any point of the screen to bring us back to system state three. An application can have as many as 256 individual states. In all cases, the Nucleus Power Management Framework allows the drivers to communicate and execute an orderly transition between the different states. To use the advanced power features of the CPU itself, Nucleus provides operating points which control the CPU operating frequency and voltage levels to the degree that are supported by the underlying hardware. There can be 256 operating points with operating point 0 assigned to hibernate state and operating point 1 assigned to the standby state. As you can see, the operating points on this processor correspond to the different frequencies of the CPU. Other processors, which also allow voltage scaling, are able to map both frequencies and voltages to the different operating points. Switching between operating points is easy as switching between system states controlling the peripherals. If you look closely at points 2 and 3, you'll see that they are locked. The system won't enter them when requested. This shows the interaction between the operating points of the CPU and the state of the device drivers. The CPU won't be able to enter a state that prevents proper operation of an active device driver. This feature is also true of device-to-device -device interaction. All aspects of the system are choreographed to guarantee proper operation. Communication between the device drivers and the operating point guarantees that any changes in operating frequency is compensated in all devices and prescalers. This maintains communication rates, time tracking, and all the other time-dependent aspects of device operation. Performing a standby operation, which stops all peripherals, saves the CPU state, and places DRAM in the self-refresh mode. Again, on this platform, this reduces power consumption from 560 milliamps to less than 80 milliamps, a, de a decrease of almost 80% of the current draw. The lowest operating point is level zero, Hibernate mode will save the system state and contents of RAM to non-volatile storage, allowing the removal of all power to the system. Upon restart, the system is restored to its previous state. When being restored, the Nucleus RTOS power management system also allows the application to specify an operating point as well as a system state upon resumption. Implementing these features requires a well thought out software framework that allows any combination of complex interactions between all modules in a processor and its peripherals. The complexity of this task can exceed that of most applications and is certainly not in the development schedule of any project. On the other hand, failing to use a solid power management framework can make it impossible to meet the power consumption requirements of modern processor-based systems.